Goblin Bull Fridays versus Cole like Sun Eater. Let's go. Let's get him. Let's get him. And they got him. Oh, beautiful. The Wolf Riders. Definitely on their own. They didn't have the help of nine groups of archers and eight other melee units. They absolutely did that on their own. <laughs> Very brave guys. And we are back. It is the beginning of the end of the Goblin Campaign. We need only 11 more settlements, and we've already destroyed all of the factions necessary for the long campaign victory. I do find that the Greenskins specifically, they have a lot less of the boring shit <laughs> compared to other factions. At least in my opinion, like uh, High Elves with diplomacy and all of that, I get bored with that pretty quickly. Dark Elves with the slave mechanic, that's... Ah, I don't want to deal with that. Uh, I like just killing things, and raiding, <laughs> and, and winning. Those are the three things that the Greenskins really excel at, especially the Goblins, as we've learned. Kolek might be a problem here. Okay, he's just raiding. Might be able to attack him with my garrison as well there. Zufbar. Hmm. Yeah, we might be able to deal with that. I think we're just going to charge that first army as quickly as we can, hopefully destroy them. And that's going to make it harder for me to wipe them out. I'm going to lose at least a minute there getting to them. Okay, that's not great. Alright, come on. Come on, come on, come on. We got eight seconds. We got eight seconds to fully route them. The balance of power is technically even here. But they just have so much armor. And we have very limited armor piercing. Alright, we'll move back here. I might end up retreating still. But it's worth fighting for just a moment. I have no way of getting to their archers is the problem. No matter how much I split up my troops, they have enough melee to just prevent me from getting into them. Oh my god, they're so good at throwing them now. I, I don't know if they've changed that in Warhammer 3, but the blasting charges seem to be far more powerful than they ever were in Warhammer 2. Uh, they outrange me by so much, and there's nothing I can really do about it. Those guys are just gone. That sucks. Um, yeah, I'll concede now. I'll concede. I don't want the rest of the miners to toss their blasting charges. <laughs> Can't afford that. I do think overall we traded decently there. Hopefully we don't lose these guys. I don't think we should. We do. Those fanatics. And we lose a couple gobbo archers. They're not attacking, but they're chasing? Alright. And they left their weaker army in force march. Okay, I can get the eight peaks loonies who are some night goblin fanatics. That's good. That'll make a big difference. That's all I can really recruit here. So we'll go for these guys first. Uh, do I want to even use lightning strike here though? That's the question. Wait, I auto resolve this? Really? I don't think the miners' blasting charges will be able to toss their blasting charges in this situation. I I don't think it'll be physically possible for them to toss them. So I. I can just wait here then. Those guys are just waiting there because I'm attacking. Oh, they have six miners with blasting charges there. Yeah, that's that's a real threat. Okay, most of the miners with blasting charges are not able to use them. Okay, you get on them now. You get on them. Pop that. Pop this. You get no melee attack. And we take that. Yeah, definitely very fair and balanced. What we did there. But the AI has its own bullshit. I gotta use mine. I gotta use my bullshit occasionally to counter the AI's bullshit. Alright? <laughs> That's how I justify it. Don't question it. You may not like my methods, but they are in fact dead now. And we are not. And can we... Oh, we can. Oh, we can. I mean, this army's still over there, but I don't care about them. How many settlements do they have? They have two settlements, and the other one is over here. So that effectively means they aren't going to be recruiting shit for a good while. Yeah, no, we win this by so much that I'll just attack it now, actually. That's such an easy win. Just, just, just give up. Just give up. Just give up. Just give up. Come on. Okay. Thank you. And yeah, that is now ours. Ah, guilt. They have no balance of power compared to me. Oh yeah, my, my two armies beat their two armies by a lot there. They're not even in uh, ambush stance or anything, so that'll be pretty easy to deal with. Ooh, Kolak, are you going to attack? 
You are. With no reinforcements. And I auto-resolve win it. I don't want to waste my units on auto-resolve here, but I will go for... Yeah, this will be my first small settlement battle in a few episodes, I believe. Oh, that's a weird one. I haven't actually fought on a small settlement like that before. Okay, so Chaos Spawn, I want to kill them first, because that'll decrease their balance of power. Uh, the Armored Chaos Trolls are a little scary, but they don't have very much melee attack or defense, and I do have Itchy Nuisance, so... Ooh, the Summoners of Rage are scary as well, but they're anti-large. Ooh, that Bound Spell's gonna hurt. Yeah, I'll, I'll start with some guys over here, some guys over there. I'm hoping they'll move at the speed of the Chaos Warriors here. If they do, then it'll be a while before they get to us. Not sure what the Warhands are doing there, but these guys are going to their death. That's good. And these guys are also going to their death. Very good. You should really... Ooh! Yeah, those spells are going to be hurting a bit. Got a Tormentor Sword. Definitely want to use that. Use that on them, even though they don't deserve it because they're stinky orcs. Alright, so try to target... Especially with the poison, target Kolek. Oh my god, they're routing fast. Oh shit, maybe I should uh, get a few of these guys over here already. Shoot the Summoners of Rage specifically. How much uh, missile resist? 25%. That's not enough to not shoot them. Alright, we're going to win this side pretty quickly. Alright, Kolek should go down very soon here. Nothing else here is going to last too much longer either. Not a big fan of that. Uh, those are Chaos Spawn. I do want to target them. High priority target. All you guys go there. We're running a little low on ammo. Uh, pretty much across the board here. Cole, like, please die, please die, please actually die. Don't just run. Actually die, please. Actually die, please. One more volley and he's dead. Oh wait, it's just... Wow, they... Overall, their army got the uh, army losses penalty way earlier than I expected. And I guess I killed their high value units first. Um, but yeah, I was expecting that I was going to have to fight them all basically to the death rather than just the chaos spawn. Wow. 38 health and he got away. Uh, 70... Yeah, I can't chase him down now. It's... Oh, wait, no. He can. He's there. <laughs> For some reason, I thought these guys were already dead. Come on. Goblin Wolf Riders versus Cole like Sun Eater. Let's, let's go. Let's get him. Let's get him. And they got him. Oh, beautiful. The Wolf Riders. The Wolf Riders. Never underestimate... The Gobbo Wolf Riders. These guys are champions. They just absolutely demolished Kolek Sun Eater. Definitely on their own. They didn't have the help of nine groups of archers and eight other melee units. They absolutely did that on their own. <laughs> Very brave guys. The Chaos Warriors. I don't know if they ever saw combat. <laughs> I think they were just slowly walking in that whole time. <laughs> yeah, no. They never... <laughs> they never even made it to the fight. I killed their entire army before the Chaos Warriors got close. Alright, full reinforcements from everyone there if we attack that. Let me quickly check how many fanatics do we have. We have two fanatics across the board and they're already a bit hurt. A lot of halberdiers. That makes it a lot easier. Even the great swords. I mean, I can just shoot them. It's going to be a little tight. Slightly tighter margins than I'd like, but yeah, that's a Pyrrhic victory auto resolve. A very Pyrrhic one. Not the most Pyrrhic, but very Pyrrhic. The rest of you filthy little gits are just gonna do kind of a, a that. <laughs> just, just fucking move forward and then shoot them. And where are you guys? Oh, I forgot to move you lads up. That's where you are. Way in the back. All right. And go for the immediate wall and then we'll go for more walls. Every wall is a good wall, but some walls are great walls, which is technically contradictory, but you know what the fuck I mean. All right, is everyone firing? Who, who is and isn't firing? Ooh, they're in a really good spot, those huntsmen. They're in a good enough spot that I'm just going to let them kill my archers because it would be too hard to stop them. You know what? Fuck it. Friendly fire. We, we friendly fire. If, if it kills all our gobos, it kills all our gobos, but hopefully it'll kill them more than it kills us. Ah, oh, those are really just skirting blows. Eh, the last one went right through. Alright, we'll push you into them. All of our archers are shooting. Less than all of their archers are shooting. I'll take that. Alright, they're routed, they're routed, they're gone. They're gone. Alright, balance of power is not where I'd like it, but it's not the worst. You guys all are gonna turn and pivot. You boys move over there, and we get a cast over here. Bada bang. 
And they're breaking. They're breaking. They're gone. Gonna use our potions, etc. But that should be done. Yep, they're done. I'll see how much I can wipe out. I'll turn my archers off of archering. And then I'll run them down. Uh, did we lose any? No, we didn't. We didn't lose any at all. And they lost most of their halberdiers because they're shit in that situation. And most situations, to be fair, they're only good against large, and even then they're questionably good. That should have been all their armies, I believe, based off their balance of power. Which is now zero. <laughs> so. Just take a look at this. Take it, just take a quick gander at this right here. Does any does anything look off here to you guys? This was not what I was expecting. I did not expect that the <laughs> greenskins were going to reinforce the high elves. Didn't think that was a possibility, but they did it. They're not at war, which is I guess why they did it, but why are they not at war is the real question, because they have a minus 235 relation. Oh, you can zoom in and out on that? Oh, wow, that's crazy. I see... <laughs> I, I had no idea that was a thing. You can even see where... I've never... I've genuinely never paid that much attention to this. I just accidentally scrolled up on it and realized that that is an option. All right, that's cool. <laughs> but I'm still probably not going to use it much. But it's cool. Will they reinforce? They will not. And therefore, I will attack. Ooh, word spawn. They are chaos. They're unbreakable. And they have a barrier with a thousand hit points and sundered armor and 20% physical resistance. That's a little much. <laughs> Didn't really think I'd be fighting chaos this much. But here I am. <laughs> Ridding the world of chaos and replacing it with goblins who are definitely not chaotic. Ah, they have done a stupid, a dumb, a mistake. They're really uh, reforming here. I didn't think they would. And those units are pretty damn hurt when they come back. Oh, they saw those guys over there. They're probably uh, upping their overall balance of power by quite a bit. Yeah, these guys just couldn't get to the combat. <laughs> Once again, Chaos Warriors just failing to get to the fight before it's over. <laughs> Seems to be their biggest weakness. At this point, we have six more settlements to deal with. Not bad at all. Vlad is going for that attack. I thought he might. But Vlad himself is the biggest problem here. Because he has Wind of Death for 12 Winds of Magic. We should be good here. We should be, I think, just able to win this. Now, I think I want to start on this slight high ground. This seems like a good position. Going for the Wa early on. These guys should reform. Cryptor is almost done. Mm, don't like the Cairn Wraiths being there. A lot of them are starting to crumble now. You're going to move up and go into melee here, actually. Uh, Vlad is just not taking damage there. He's going to have so much health and effective healing that I don't think I can even kill him. I don't think it's worth even trying. So I'll just let him kill my Gabos there. As long as I can wipe out his army and get him to crumble, that's fine. Okay, they're crumbling now. They're crumbling. And it was really just all about dealing enough damage that they would crumble fast. Um, we used our archers about as effectively as possible. I try and hit him with that, try and hit him with that one. Good cast. Yep, and he's down. He's down. Nice. Uh, lots of gold value on those guys. Wow. Wow. That's crazy for a melee unit. I, I should really get a few more nasty skulkers in every army. I should probably have like four to eight, depending. If they're primarily fighting dwarves, I might go for exclusively nasty skulkers in some of my armies from now on. Alright, Scarsnake, we got that. And we'll just finish them off real quick. Why not? I think we catch them, though. Yeah, we catch them. Auto-resolve. And they're done. Uh, these guys have expanded pretty rapidly. What's going on here? Wow, they did not own that until just now. Ranked rank 6. They have nine settlements, and I can see the majority of them. Ooh. Ooh, I do like that bonus too. Um, which one do we want to go with here? I wish they gave different WAS. That would be cool. Now, where is their actual... Okay, their home base is all the way here. I don't know if I'll actually even bother finishing that entirely in the campaign. 
because that would just there would be a lot to cut down into one video and i do want this to be the last in the series all right i'm gonna save oh oh this is this is way more than i've ever been able to disband before without it crashing i've never disbanded more than two units before it crashed Okay, they've definitely fixed that then. And we'll take Gorger Rock back. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna auto resolve that. One unit of Gabos, even with an upgrade, is just not... Not that valuable. Valuable. Every, every Gabo matters. But not that much. <laughs> don't, don't, don't get ahead of yourselves. We're an unstoppable force at this point, and I don't see any immovable objects nearby, so... I think we'll end it off pretty soon here. I would say the most important thing I've learned about goblins is that you need the fucking armor piercing. You need it. You need the nasty skulkers. You need the spinning loons. If you don't have those, you just can't kill dwarves. <laughs> you just absolutely can't. And the biggest weakness, I would say, overall for gobos is, well, there's two things. The first is archers with longer range than them. There are ways to work around that, but high elf archers are a serious, serious threat. And the second thing is that blasting charges fucking hurt. <laughs> I don't know if they've been buffed in Warhammer 3 or some of the recent updates, or if they're just a little better at aiming them now, or if it's just that they're super ridiculously overpowered against goblins. Alright, Sneak Squig Beard. This is, I believe, the last fight here. Now, I do like cinematic battles, but this battle would not be very cinematic. This is this is a bit of a boring one. I'll auto-resolve this, and then what I'm going to do here is I'm going to keep playing until I find a sufficiently difficult battle to end everything out on. Long victory achieved. Can we attack him? We can. I think these guys are going down here. They should all crumble in a second. Oh yeah, they're crumbling. Oh, that looks so cool. Just all of them flopping over. Oh. All right, another actually interesting fight here. And we're just going to charge them. We're just straight up charging them. Running in there. Oh, those are blood knights. Those, those are not friendly. Uh, we're gonna wall already. Hmm, Jesus. That actually is not looking great for me. Not looking like the best situation. Hmm, some of my most important units have pretty much insta-broken here because of terror. Uh, fuck it. We'll use that through our own units because they're useless and they ran away. I should have waited for my reinforcing army. But I still take this in the end, I'm pretty confident. It was closer than I would have liked. Although most fights are. And they're done. All right. Bada bang. Really? And we auto resolve lose that? All right, those should be pretty good. A lot of damage on those blood knights, which we should be targeting specifically because we've learned how dangerous they are. Yes, that terror geist is in my archers. No, I can't really do anything about it right now. I'm okay with that situation. And it's a close victory. Yeah, I don't know why we auto-resolve lost that by so much. That's ridiculous. I mean, we we lost 261 gobos, which is effectively zero gobos. <laughs> Alright, are they going to come back again? How are they not completely wiped out now? Are you kidding me? They still have the same number of blood knights. I killed all of the blood knights twice. Fuck you. I'm going to kill your blood knights again. Oh my god, I still can't auto-resolve it. Oh, they have all of the same units. They lost nothing. Two failed attacks where they got their shit pushed in. And they just still have the same number of units. Effectively zero damage to their fucking army. That is the craziest thing I've ever seen. You're in range. I will shoot you. You will die. That is the deal. Please accept it. 
I mean, is there a trick to killing them so that they'll actually stay dead? I, I don't know. I don't know if I'm missing something here. Just die already. Just, just die. Just die permanently this time, please. Thank you. Stay dead. Stay dead. I'm going to lose my mind if they come back again. If those Blood Knights come back, I am, I am going to lose it. <laughs> okay. Now they're finally staying dead. Finally. I don't feel the need to finish this out any further. I think we're in a good spot. We got a few really cool battles at the end there. Thank you so much for watching the Goblin series all the way through. I've had a lot of fun making this. Yeah, I'm just... I'm amazed that so many people have enjoyed it and actually watched it. I mean, not just watched the first episode, but watched all the way through. It's... it's... it's crazy to me. If there's one thing for you to really take away and remember from this campaign, it's to just keep gobbling on, you know? You just gotta keep gobbling on these fucking nuts. Ha! Got he. Ha! Got he. Ha!